Hello, today is the 24th of December 2010, and welcome to today's Silver Analysis, and this should now be the final video before the Christmas season. I want to go over this daily chart, some of these key tops and bottoms and its variables, which are on the screen as we start with the bottom on August the 24th. On that morning, it gapped at the uh, 1774 level and well started going higher and well it kept going higher and on the first part of this rally, it uh, really had small gains. I guess if you look at the size of these candles in comparison to well the more recent ones, you can see that they are much much smaller and. As the market's been continuing to go higher, this has increased the volume. It has also increased the volatility thus far. Now, recently, over the last few days, it's been very light. And, of course, we're still in this wedge pattern from this uh, high and low that have not been tested since. Within the final week before Christmas, I guess that's very normal. And uh, what I want to do is go over some of the key lows because we had our first consolidation really in here. You can count these as shorter term consolidations, but nothing on a, uh, anything on a longer term period. And the first consolidation from the 14th of October to the 22nd lasted about a one week time. And... We see the market go down from about 25 to below 23, which was roughly almost 10%. Pretty a decent size move, but it held here and it got above it nicely. Then the 29.33, it fell quite a bit. It fell about a four and change. That's about 17, 18%. This one here was a one day sell off that has uh, been holding up really well. And the value of this was. A little under 10%. And if we take a look at the bottom variables, we got 2284, 25, and 2801. Therefore, each one has been rising $3 from the previous. Now, there's only been two rises on each one, but if this trend continues, that means the next the low of the next breakout should roughly be around 31, meaning the market goes up to 32, 33, and then retracing back to 31. Not saying that's going to happen, just that's what the trend is currently. And if we take the length, the amount of days that each one consolidated from, we'll start with this one in here. We'll count the amount of candles, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Pretty much three weeks, and then it broke out. Now, as far as this one here is concerned, you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 ish, and it broke out here. So there was 14 days here, or a little under around three weeks, and it broke out. 14 days in here, and then it broke out. So now we'll count these ones in here. You got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Day number 14 will be on Monday. I think. I don't think the holiday is going to change it. Monday is the 27th. Yeah, the, the market will be open. And the 28th will be day 15. So far, the trend has been after it makes the high, it consolidates three weeks and then it goes higher to make new highs. We'll see if this is going to continue its similar trend break out on Tuesday, and then fall back down to 31. Now, I wouldn't put much emphasis that those exact things come into play. The emphasis that I want to point out, well, for the most part within this, is where the current trends seem to be going. And of course, the, for the most part, the trend has been higher, as well as the reasons for why these prices are going higher. And that's because we weigh these prices in fiat currencies. And quite frankly, it seems that everything, everything has been going up in price within currency, at least over the long term time frame. Some might say houses are not. And for the most part, for the last few years, they have not. 
But over the last 10 years, 20 years, yeah, that uh, has been the case pretty much. So to finish this off, we'll uh, just pretty much put a quick look to where the trends are uh, pointing towards. And uh, usually these things resolve themselves in the, uh, the current trend. And the current trend right now is that of going higher. So thank you for watching this video. Have a happy and a safe holiday. Take care, everyone.